Hello and welcome back to Banama Today. You're with me, Tamina. And now we move to a focus interview on senior lifestyles and living. And I have with me in the studios Chia Chak Wing, who is the president of Senior Magazine, as well as that Muslim Ayo, editor of Senior Magazine, who are here to talk about not only their landmark interview just over the weekend, which was telecast over Banama News Channel with Tun, Dr. Mahathir, Prime Minister of Malaysia, but also their upcoming conference on seniors. Gentlemen, welcome to studios. How are you? Fine, thank you, thank you. All right, so perhaps I'll get it started off by asking you, Dr. Muslim. So, Dr. Muz, um, tell us a little bit about Senior Magazine and when uh, the magazine started up and what was the need that you all saw in the market to have this magazine introduced? Yeah, um, magazine started last year, so we're just about one year old. This is our second year. Um, we're pleased that um, <coughs> our advisor, uh, which is Tan Sri Sung, uh, who himself is a very active senior. He's 93 as well. And uh, he's the one with the ideas that uh, we need to have this kind of magazine because the third age people um, are not really uh, being catered for as far as their, their needs and their potential uh, contributions uh, uh, be taken uh, into uh, account, into consideration. Hence, we uh, started this magazine. Uh, <coughs> I'm actually uh, the new editor. There were previous uh, editors. Um, and then we came up with this idea also of uh, having a conference uh, in October on the 6th in conjunction with the um, uh, UN uh <coughs> day for old people, uh, supposed to be 1st of, of October. And for Malaysia, we also have uh, taken note of this uh, uh, UN thing. And um, we have what is known as uh, Grandparents Day, uh, which this year I think will be um, celebrated uh, on the 4th of October. Right, uh, so coming up soon as coming well. Coming up soon as well. So, yeah. Dr. Mus, I'm moving to you now, uh, mm. Mr. Chia. Mm. Uh, let's talk a little bit about changing values, especially in mm. Malaysian society, and mm. how that's actually changing the longevity um, scope for the seniors. Because as of 2010, uh, about 62% of families are nuclear mm. families. Mm. Extended families are only about 20% or so. Mm. But that also affects the seniors because mm. they can no longer rely on the extended family network mm. to mm. stay within and also spend their golden years. Mm. So how is this also affecting our seniors here in Malaysia? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, there's a lot of effect, especially you no know, within the family itself. Um, in fact, uh, yesterday only, uh, sorry, on Sunday I think there was a rerun of an old movie called uh, Little House on the Perry. Right. So I've, I always enjoy that movie because it, it brings out a lot of family values, which uh, we tend to forget nowadays, especially the, the young people. So as a result, you can see a lot of uh, you know, abandoned uh, parents. Huh? Uh, very sad to see these people in the street. Um, you know, that, that particular uh, program that I watch, they are talking about this uh, elderly lady who's in, his eight, in her 80s, and uh, she has to fake her own uh, death in order to bring the children back home. So it's only that time when the children feel you know, that they need to, to go back home. To, to, to see the mother, which is a very sad. No, the, it, it shows that uh, you know we only we don't value the person when the person is alive. We only value the person when he's he's no longer there. And then we think of eulogies. Now, of course, who can also forget uh, Michael Landon, the title actor in right. that film? But also, let's move into the reality mm. of the aging population in Malaysia today. So, the above sixty-five population is about eight percent. And Datum was you were telling me about how it's going to increase. Uh, double in percentage and triple in number, let's say by 2030 or even before. So looking at the framework we have right now in Malaysia, is it going to be a smooth road ahead or what challenges do you see for the senior population? Well, I think there'll be uh, quite a lot of challenges, uh, particularly for the seniors, um, because we are used to um, certain things. Um, although we are trying to adapt, uh, keep up with technology, the handphones and uh, WhatsApp and what have you. Um, but there are still uh, a large number that don't go for this latest smartphone system. 
Um, they're very technology averse. Uh, yeah, they, uh, uh, well, the most they have would be um, uh, the old Nokia and, and things like that. Um, so it's important that um, <coughs> the government in particular to, to consider this. At the moment, the uh, fourth age people, who, the dependents, uh, who are what, OKUs, they are reasonably catered for. Uh, there is um, a department in the welfare uh, ministry that uh, supposed to cater for them. Um, and we do have uh, old folks home and, and, and uh, uh, special clinics and, and uh, places like that. But for the um, <coughs> third age, because we are still kind of healthy, uh, we can still move on and we can still be active, uh, not much is uh, catered for. Um, however, as far as I'm concerned, I, I feel um, strongly that there's a need for us to uh, be able to, to still uh, contribute and uh, forward our ideas and give advice and, and things like that. For example, uh, in the uh, case of, uh, say, our currency, our ringgit. Um, the, the 10 ringgit note and the 20 ringgit note is almost of the same color. And seniors, uh, some of them may not be uh, able to recognize um, the, the difference different colors, in color. or the color blind or something like that. So you can't also have that without consultation from the seniors. Yeah. But also, um, you brought up a point about um, seniors staying active and contributing to the community. Uh, on that note, uh, Mr. Mm. Chia, uh, just share with us a little bit about mm. the topics in particular which you spoke about with Tun Mahathir. Uh, he, of course, is the world's oldest prime minister, mm -hmm. uh, oldest mm -hmm. state leader at 93. Mm -hmm. And what Malaysians have seen has been truly inspiring. Now, how mm. do we ensure that what we've seen, it doesn't just end with Tun Mahathir, but it's also inspired others similarly aged, nanogenarians or even those in their 70s and 80s to stay mm. active? Uh, for those who have watched the interview with uh, Toon, I think uh, we are all going to be very inspired uh, to, I mean he's now the icon uh, for the seniors, not only to seniors, I think even to the younger generation. Uh, oh absolutely. That, that, uh, that uh, you know, a per person at that age can still contribute not only to the community but to the nation at large. So I feel that uh, you know, definitely uh, the senior can play an active role. But in order to play an active role, we must be healthy ourselves. We must to make sure, like what Mahathir says, uh, muscles must always be exercised. You know? So it's just like the brain and the body. If you don't exercise them, you know, instead of just waking up in the morning and not knowing what to do, why not exercise uh, your body and your, your mind as well? Mm. Uh, so in order to, to, to stay healthy and be able to contribute uh, back to society, you know? whatever skills that you have, you know, in, in what you have learned. So education is a very important part. No? So we should make uh, education available to seniors as well. Yes, continuing education yes, as uh, well. Yes, lifelong learning. Mm -hmm. Now, um, China, for example, there has been an unprecedented <laughs> demand with um, uh, close to 100,000 individuals already going back into the system as retirees wanting mm -hmm. to make the most of their time. Um, are there any programs like that over here, that Tomos, that seniors uh, can also apply yes. for? We already have uh, two universities. Oh, I see. Okay, called U U3A, University of the Third Age. But uh, their courses, of course, are short courses. And um, uh, for example, uh, they do courses on uh, calligraphy, um, Chinese calligraphy, or <coughs> Islamic calligraphy, um, and then um, other things uh, that. Uh, the various people have their interests on, um, but we also could cater uh, for advanced education, continue, uh, continued learning. In other words, if uh, some seniors want to do master's program, uh, we can help to, to place them uh, into the master's program. Right. So this is the kind of thing that um, uh, is uh, interesting and uh, continuing. Um, so the <coughs> University of the Third Age is um, handled by uh, Unity UPM uh, and also um, 
the one in uh, where was it? Um, Bandar Utama. Bandar Utama. Uh, not the University of Bandar Utama, but uh, within one. Uh, it's a private right. organization. So when we also speak about um, universities and programs that the seniors mm. can um, go into, um, let's speak a little bit and move into the conference that you're organizing for mm. the sixth of October. Mm. So this one is about aging, learning, and technology, and enriching lives, connecting mm. communities. Uh, why this theme, gentlemen, for this landmark conference? Well, we felt that uh, there's a need to ensure that uh, we bring together the various um, uh, uh, senior organizations. We do have them, the senior organizations, uh, but they're all scattered all over the place, uh, mostly as uh, resident associations and some um, individual thing. Um, <coughs> so through our magazine, we're hoping that they will be able to get to uh, people know each other and get together. We will create a database of them so that um, they will be able to. Uh, we will be able to, to uh, get to them and uh, disseminate information and, and uh, so on and so forth right. on the what um, uh, seniors can do and will do kind of thing. Right, uh, Mr. Chia. So mm. we understand that Tun Mahathir has also agreed to be the keynote speaker for the conference. Right. Yep. Now, when did you actually approach him with that, and was it an easy thing to sell to him, or did you have to convince him? Uh, actually, um, I would like to praise God for this, you know, because he mm -hmm. opened doors really, and uh, we actually approached him on two two occasion. Uh, basically, one is to do the interview uh, with him at Perdana Leadership. And the other one is to give the keynote address at the conference. So we, frank, fr quite frankly, we didn't expect him to accept. You know, <laughs> we thought, okay, maybe he can give a forward and a message and whatnot. But uh, to the, to our surprise, he accepted both. So we are really honoured and uh, privileged. And um, after interviewing him, he actually uh, gave us a lot of encouragement. And I believe uh, he has a message for senior. And uh, do come for the conference, and then you will know what message he has for seniors uh, you know, in Malaysia. So it's also and good uh, to know that the conference has pretty much been sold out and yes. you are organizing it at PetroScience. Yes, but and, um, and there's no walk-in also. Uh, okay, because no just in case if people do come and thinking that it's, uh, you know, it's a public program, you know, but uh, unfortunately, uh, we actually have oversold uh, the seats. I see, and, which is uh, fantastic. Next year, yes, good next year we're going to have, uh, we're going to make it an annual uh, conference uh, but we're going to put it in a bigger space now. Uh, so we, we, we want to apologize to those who cannot uh, take part in this time. Right, but, but we can uh, be following what's going to be happening on your Facebook page. Where can we find you on Facebook for Senior Magazine? It's a Senior Mac. Uh, it's actually, um, um, no, it's the, the, the title of the Facebook is The Senior Mac. Okay, The Senior yeah, Mag, if you want to mag. follow what's happening That's on right. the Facebook, especially if you're not able to make it for the conference, hopefully they'll be able to uh, record it from the Banama News Channel um, side and we'll be able to play you a couple of live streams of what's mm. been happening over there. So from there, gentlemen, moving into the question <laughs> of uh, being of an elderly age and combating social isolation. So technology plays a big part in it these days, right? Mm. So would you encourage seniors to also get online and stay connected with not just um, their children and their family, but also um, old colleagues, people from the past, and mm. why? Yeah, definitely. Um, the diehards who you know, just don't want to know how to uh, use a smartphone and things like that, not that many of them. Uh, I noticed that most of my schoolmates, uh, <coughs> classmates, and all that, they are onto it, you know, uh, well with it as far as um, WhatsApp is concerned. And uh, that's how we get together. Uh, <coughs> I'm from the federal FMC group of uh, the 1960s <laughs> vintage. Um, and we do get together uh, often, mm -hmm. and um, we get together through WhatsApp. And um, the thing is, there are uh, other needs, of course, um, for them to be able to use the uh, technologies uh, to benefit, uh, to their benefit, um, instead of just um, relying on the children to help and kind of thing. They should do it themselves. I mean, uh, 
nowadays you you can access the internet and um, find out all kinds of things uh, on Wikipedia, for example. You can be well um, versed. Well versed, yes, yeah, that's right. On uh, history, on geography, on all kinds of things. Okay, you know? so gentlemen, um, mm. looking at the um, average mortality rate of Malaysians, it's roughly about 77 years. But we also, of course, have many others who live way past the retirement mm. age, living, mm. giving you a rough 20, mm. sometimes even 30 to 40 years. What are some of your hopes and wishes for, not mm. just the year going forth, but the future for seniors in Malaysia? What I want to say here is that, um, you know, it's not about how long you live, but it's about um, how well you live your life. No, so that is important. No? A lot of people yeah, can have a long life, but if they are suffering from illness, no, because as you know, hypertension, diabetes, all are increasing, obese, obesity, you know, and it does, that does not uh, hold well as far as quality of life is concerned. No? So we need to have good quality life. So in order to do that, seniors must be always active, not only physically, but uh, mentally as well. No? Then only you find that uh, they, they need not spend a lot of money on medical bills and whatnot. That's right. So, so that is the right, right uh, approach to living. And uh, yeah. Dr. Mus, just before we end, uh, share with us what it was like to be interviewing Tun Mahathir during the interview itself. How did you feel? Oh, well, I was very impressed. Um, he is um, uh, well, well with it, really. When you ask him any question, he'll be able to answer. And the um, thing is also, um, <laughs> you know, the Padana Leadership uh, Building has got the two uh, <coughs> staircases. And um, he would um, come down the staircase without even uh, using the railing. He At just walked down. That's you definitely know, by something. Himself. Not just impressive, but aspirational, really. Yeah. I mean, I'm 79, and I had to use the railing. <laughs> Food for <laughs> thought, indeed. <laughs> so, on That's that fantastic. note, gentlemen, thank you so much for your time today. It's been lovely chatting with you, and we wish you all success with not only the conference, but also the coming years for Senior Magazine. Yeah. Thanks a lot thank for you. joining us here. I'm Tamina, signing off on Banama Today. We'll catch you again tomorrow.